Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve another one of the important programming challenge of HackerRank. And the name of that programming challenge is counting values. In this programming challenge, we will get two input. One is n, which will be in an integer format. And another one will be path, which will give us a string of length n. For example, let's say I will keep n equal to 8, then a string will be 8 length. Now, Let's try to understand this programming challenge. Here, one traveler traveled from source to destination. During his travel, traveler, he traveled multiple valleys. Now, our job is to find the no number of valleys he traveled. Here you can see that that path is given in either D or U. D means the traveler traveled in downward direction and U means traveler traveled in upward direction. Now we have to count at how many number of values traveler traveled before he reached his end of the destination. Let's give a pictorial representation to understand this logical pro problem. Here we can see that traveler traveled two times downward and four times upward. Again, two times downward. Now, here you can see that the traveler traveled only one valley. He went to down and he came back to up. So, what we will assume that total traveler that traveled in this path will be counted as only one valley. So total number of value that he traveled is one and the limitations programming logical problem is that that strings of path or steps you can say it will be between 2 to 10 to the power 6 and the one more important thing there is only two alphabet will be used in this path D and U. D means downward and U means upward. Now let's try to solve this programming challenge with the help of another example and in this example what I will do I will take n equal to 12 let's write a, um, a string of this 12 length Before writing this problem programmatically, I programmatically let's give a pictorial representation first so that it will be easy for us to understand this problem and to calculate that our answer is correct or not. Now here we can see that traveler traveled two times downward. two times upward after that two times downward again one time upward downward again three times upward downward again to reach its end of destination. Now to understand this problem programmatically what I will do I will indicate downward as minus 1 and upward as plus 1. Sorry I have by mistake and I have written uh, u equal to minus 1 let's remove it and downward i will keep as minus 1 now mark this representation in the this valley
let's create a table of these 12 steps first one i will indicate it as minus one so it will go minus one d equal to minus one and u equal to plus one like that i have implemented in this table now after that what i am going to do i am going to iterate the total values of the 12 steps for example he started from the step zero right from the surface he started and the first step he came to downward so it will be zero minus one i will iterate the values like that after that next step is again minus one so minus one minus one it will become minus two again he came back to one step up so it will be one again he step one step up so again it will be reached its surface so it became zero like that i have implemented the whole table now the whole chart is created and here i found out the most important thing is that whenever a traveler is reaching to the surface it is the value of this chart table is indicated as zero for example step number four it is indicated as zero because the traveler reached to its surface again step number 10 he reached to the surface indicated as zero and step number 12 again we can see that reached to its indicated as zero so every time whenever a traveler is reaching the surface it will be indicated as surface now here again we can see most important thing that every time a traveler is coming from a valley valley its current position will be zero and his previous position will be indicated as minus one here you can see that step number three is minus one and step number four is zero so that means traveler is coming from downward to upward and he reached to the surface so so he came from a valley again i am seeing that step number nine that traveler coming from downward minus one and step number ten it is indicated as zero so again traveler one more time he traveled to the downward and he came from a surface so again it will be indicated as one back valley but in the step number 12 it is indicated as zero but in the step number 11 we can see that travel is not coming from downward he is coming from a upward so it won't so he is not coming from a valley so this will won't be counted counted so that means whenever the previous value will be minus one and current value will be zero that means the traveler is coming from a valley and i can count those values now to write this chart table in a pro programming way what i am going to do i am going to initialize three different value three different value using java so i will let's say i will keep those values name int uh, sum equal to zero another one let's say previous i need to notify right so in previous equal to zero another one i have to count the value number so in count equal to zero now i will try to create now i will try to create uh, this chart okay so because through that chart only i am going to count number of values the traveler traveled so i'm for that i'm going to use for loop to iterate that one now i'm going to use exactly the same way the way i did in the chart in the sum i'm going to use a conditional operator so every time whenever i traveled traveler traveling to downward direction it will be indicated as minus one and upward direction it will be indicated as plus one here you can see that i've written here if path equal to u that means upward direction that in that scenario in sum it should be stored as one but if it is coming as a downward then it will be stored as a minus one and here i mentioned sum plus so that automatically it is going to iterate and calculate everything according to that manner and after that in the end of the loop i will assign that sum to previous so it will be indicated that that previous value is that one before the next new loop begins now in the middle of it what i will do if previous equal to minus one 
that means he's coming from a downward and current will be zero that means he's in the surface right now that means he's coming from a valley if that condition is true then count that as a value so i will write count plus plus and after that i'm going to just return the value because we i have got the, my result now in this pictorial representation we can see that there are two times he traveled from bottom to surface so there are two valleys that he traveled now let's try to solve in hacker rank to see that uh, we have written correct correct code or not so here i'm going to initialize uh, three different va values for int sum equal to zero in previous equal to zero in count equal to zero now let's create the chart table which i have represented in the diagram uh, with the help of a for loop here count Now we'll write the exactly the same code the way I have represented in the diagram sum plus path equal to carrot i equal to equal to u if it's in upward direction then then write it as a one and if it is a false then minus one and iterate that value until and unless you will reach the end of the destination and in the end of the loop just mark it as forward this value previous equal to in to sum so that in the new loop this value will be indicated as previous. Now previous equal to equal to minus one and sum equal to equal to zero. If that condition is true, that means the traveler is traveling from a valley or he is coming from a valley. Now let's just run the code to see that I have written the correct logic or not. Okay, here I've done a mistake. Let's be function right. Let's rerun the code again. Okay, both the test cases got successful. Now let's submit the code to see all the test cases. Okay, all the test cases uh, successful. The logic that we have written is perfectly correct. So this is the end of this video. In the next video, again, I am going to show another important programming challenges of HackerRank. So please like and subscribe my channel to get regularly updated. Thank you.